Hello uh, again. Uh, the other thing that people were wondering uh, during the during the lecture was to how to do the uh, extra uh, extra exercise that we had uh, dealing with the flag example. So I will just show you what I'm talking about. So here we had the extra problem. So people were wondering how to produce this kind of US flag looking uh, thing using these uh, dash or line uh, characters and this star character. So how to use nested for loops to actually produce this kind of thing. So now I will basically show you how it, it can be done. So I go to spider and basically, so what we need to do here, as the assignment says, you need to have a variable called star. So let's put star equals to uh, star sign that should be there. And then the other thing that we need to have is to have a variable called line equals to line and then we put just a simple dash there and then the last variable that we wanted to have is to have this kind of string empty string variable called flag so I will skip the first part of producing only the only the uh, star formation here so not fault but flag like this and it should be an empty string so you just put uh, a one single question marks like this and you have an empty string so these are the ingredients for our flag here and how to start going and producing these things so basically there are certain things that you need to kind of try to understand when doing this so here is the example of showing how the nested loops work so in this case we are first printing out the dog each letter of the dog and then in the second loop we are printing out the letters in cat and when we print out these things you can see that we first go through the first loop uh, so we go and, and uh, print out the D letter here and then in the second loop we uh, loop over each letter in this cat and when you are looking at this uh, result that we have here you have three D's in the first so the character from the dog and then you have the cat uh, letters in here so as you can see we are basically uh, printing first the D three times because we are actually printing it uh, as many times as we have letters in this cat over here so that's why we have D D D O O O G G G and and cat 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 coming here so we are kind of going first uh, into the first loop and then inside the second one and and basically iterate over as many times as the second loop uh, lasts and then go back to the first loop and and basically move on to the next uh, letter which is O then go to the uh, inner loop again print out the cat three uh, the letters of cat so three three letters in total and when this is done again move to the back to the uh, inner or not the the outer loop and and uh, print out the the letter g and the cat again like this so this is the idea so that basically as as in in so this is how it works in in python that you basically go here and then if you have something nested here so you need to execute and and run 
uh, these, uh, this loop at the end before you come back to the first loop and then you continue. So that's the idea. So how do we uh, take advantage of, of this to produce this flag uh, output? I know it's, it's quite, uh, quite tricky task to do, but now I will show you how to do it. So, as said, we have these three variables and basically what we want to do is that we indeed want to create a for loop. So, for i in, and we can take the advantage of range function. And basically, how many times do we want to uh, iterate over? So, basically, we want to calculate how many lines do we have here. So you can think that the, the first loop determines how many times, how many lines you have in this figure. So one, two, three, four, five. So we want to loop five times. And then, so it's kind of uh, showing the uh, on, on Y dimension, how many times you should do it. And then we can see that, okay, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars in this figure. So what we need to do is that we say that for j in range seven. So what we are doing now is that we, at this point, we will produce basically seven stars in our figure. So let's see how it works out. So let's say that I want to update this flag uh, variable here. So flag equals to uh, plus equals to to star. And let's see if we run this. So what do we have? And actually, what do we want to do as well is to uh, add here because we want to move to the next line. So we also want to add this kind of new line character. Uh, and remember, we might not have went through this, but there is a way of defining new line character. So basically, uh, in strings, you need to say when you should skip to the next line if you are doing it. So this is only doing that. And let's see that if we run this and print what do we have in this flag at the moment so we can see. Okay, bad operand. Uh, yeah, there is should be other way around like this so indeed okay so what do we have here is that we basically have five uh, rows printing seven stars so we can see one two three four five six seven so this is kind of a beginning for our uh, flag but of course we need to modify it a bit to actually have it uh, in in such a manner that we that we want so what we need to do is to modify these a bit so that we actually have first seven stars and after that we have uh, well, let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve dashes so all the cater we have 19 uh, characters so we set that for j in range 19 and then if j is uh, smaller than uh, let's say one, two, smaller than eight. 
if j is smaller than 8 at the star uh, character there if it's larger so if it's something else add uh, line so let's see what happens if we do it like this uh-huh so now we have this kind of shape that we have these stars in here and and then we have these lines in here but we have this extra stuff uh, in the last two rows and we want to remove those so what do we need to do is that basically we need to say that do this only in the first three rows and then do something else in the last three rows so we said that if the row number so if I uh, is smaller than 3 so do it only uh, for the three first rows then actually do these let's see what do we have there and if we have something else you need to only print out the 19 times of these uh, line or the dashes so flag uh, plus equals to uh, line and again after each iteration you should uh, put a new uh, new line character in the end let's see what this does Not. yeah we still need to have the for loop here for h in range and uh, was 19 so that many times you want to actually put the, the line and voila so now we have this kind of flag coming in uh, as you might know this this is quite complicated uh, task and not really an easy one this is kind of a uh, nice practice and, and this kind of uh, uh, nice nice not to crack in a, in a sense like thinking of, of loops but if you don't understand anything at all don't worry you won't have too many cases in your life that you should kind of wonder these kind of things so this was more kind of a fun uh, little exercise to do and, and try to produce these kind of figures so so but hopefully this at least somehow uh, shows you how to how you can actually manage to do this kind of thing so that's it thanks